What's up guys, Paul here from palmthetrail.com. On this channel, I talk about ultralight backpacking, through hiking and all things gear related. So if you're new here, then do consider subscribing. In this video, I'm covering my shelter system for my upcoming hike this summer. I'm gonna be linking together a series of trails through the High Sierra in California. Um, so my shelter system basically is comprised of two major parts. It's the Enlightened Equipment Recon Bivy, and then the Gossamer Gear Twin Tarp, and then of course some stakes. Um, so previously I've been using Gossamer Gear's The One Shelter, which is a single wall ultralight backpacking tent. But this summer I was looking to lighten the load a little bit, as well as just have a little bit more versatility in my sleep system. In conjunction with this video, I've released a really in-depth article over at my website, which is pieonthetrail.com. And in that article, I go into a lot of detail on ultralight backpacking shelters, whether that be single wall tents or tarps or bivvies. Um, I also talk about ground sheets and stakes and all that stuff. So if you wanna go um, check out that article, the link will be in the description. When I go on an ultralight backpacking trip, then nine times out of 10, I'm actually cowboy camping so if there's no chance of rain and there's no bugs then what I'll normally just do is throw out a ground sheet put my sleeping system on top of that and settle in for the night. There's two major reasons that I do that. The first being that there's a lot less effort in setting up my shelter every night and packing it away in the morning. So I basically just save time. The second is that I actually just prefer it. Um, it's really nice to just sleep out in the open. You feel kind of more connected to nature um, and it's just a more pleasant experience in my opinion. Um, but then of course, Anytime there's inclement weather or of course, especially if there's bugs, then I will set up my shelter system. Even when I'm cowboy camping, what I now do is I throw the recon bivy down out on the ground. I stake out the four corners and sometimes I'll attach the included bungee cord up into a tree just to keep that uh, mesh up and away from my face. Um, it's super quick and super easy, so it doesn't take more than a few minutes to actually set that system up and then again pack it down in the morning. And then of course, if there's gonna be bad weather, then I'll set up the Gossamer Gear tarp above the bivy, and then I'm completely protected from rain and any bugs that might be an issue. The Enlightened Equipment Recon is a fairly new item of gear to me. I've been testing it out over the past couple of weeks and so far I've been really happy with it. It's kind of a hybrid between a traditional uh, mummy style waterproof bivy that you slide into and then a uh, bug mesh that you kind of hang from the inside of a tarp. So it has a built-in kind of bathtub floor. You do slide your sleep system inside it. It has a zipper that runs up the middle, but then it also, you can use basically, there's included bungee cord on either end that you can attach to the top of your tarp. So basically what that does is it pulls it away from your face and it pulls away from your feet and it just makes the bivy a little bit roomier. Um, one of the cool things about the Enlightened Equipment bivy that I've not seen on any other bivvies is that in the four corners they've included a small plastic um, stick is the only way I could really describe it. And what happens is when you stake out the four corners of the bivy and you pull up that bungee cord, it basically makes the bathtub floor uh, rise up and so it kind of has more structure to it. That's obviously great because it feels a little bit more roomy when you are inside the bivy. If you're having rain and there's a little bit of splash pack that might be coming up underneath the tarp, then it's more protected because that bathtub floor kind of rises up vertically and protects you. The Enlightened Equipment Recon Bivy is made of uh, waterproof seal nylon and bug mesh and weighs just 6.35 ounces. The second component of my ultralight backpacking shelter system is the Gossamer Gear Twin Tarp. It's also made of waterproof seal nylon and it weighs 9.5 ounces, so it's extremely lightweight. Um, you could probably save a little bit of weight on a tarp if you went for a Dyneema Composite Fabrics tarp, but personally, the seal nylon is a lot more affordable and I've been really happy with it, so I'm gonna stick with the Twin Tarp at least going forward. I've been using it now for the past few months and I've tried it in a bunch of different weather scenarios and it's been, it's it's been really great. One of the main reasons I personally like it is because it has a cantonary cut. So uh, tarps such as this come in usually two different options. They're either completely rectangular or cantonary. And cantonary basically just means that it's not symmetrical. There's like a designated head end and a foot end. The setup's pretty straightforward. Once you've done it a couple of times, you take the tip of your trekking pole and insert it into the grommets at either end, adjust it to whichever height you want. I usually leave it pretty high up for extra ventilation, but then obviously in bad weather and rain, you can drop it down lower for extra protection. I've been super, super happy happy with it. It's a really high quality product like everything from Gossamer Gear. Um, I'm going to be leaving links 
links in the description of all the products I'm talking about in today's video. Um, if you do purchase something through those links, you help support this channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. One thing I will say about this shelter system is that it's not for everyone. Not everyone is gonna enjoy sleeping inside kind of a mummy style bivy um, with just a tarp for protection. Um, you can feel quite exposed using shelter systems like this. I did at first, now I'm really used to it, so it isn't an issue for me. If you are dealing with bugs and you're inside that bivy with the bug mesh zipped all the way up, even if you pull it away from your face and from your feet, it can feel a little bit claustrophobic for some people. Um, you also do need to be careful if you're sleeping with your arm or your head pressed against the bug mesh then the mosquitoes could potentially bite through that as well and you are laying on your back on your sleeping pad with the bug mesh just a few inches from your face if i was going on a trip where there i know there's going to be a lot of rain consistently and a lot of bugs consistently then i probably will use a single wall tent because they're a lot more livable there's obviously a lot more space you can sit up you can eat inside them um, if you're using the tarp on its own, that's fine because if it's raining, you can sit up underneath your tarp and you've got plenty of space. But if there's bugs, then you're of course going to want to climb inside that bug bivy so you're protected from it. And it can feel a little bit claustrophobic. You can't sit inside your bivy and eat, but it's fine if you want to read before bed or journal or something like that. There's plenty enough space. It just takes a bit of getting used to and it's not going to be for everyone. Um, and then of course, I carry a set of stakes with me. I use a combination of two different stakes. I use the MSR mini groundhog stakes and I use titanium ultralight shepherd hooks. Um, the reason I carry two different kind of stakes is I like the MSR groundhogs because they have a lot more holding power. They're a little bit heavier, but the reason I like them is I use them on my ridge lines and on the corners of my tarp. Um, they have a lot more holding power, especially if there was heavy wind and rain. I don't want that tarp blowing away in the middle of the night. And then I use the titanium shepherd hooks to stake out the edges of the tarp. And then if I'm staking out the bivy, then I'll use those as well because they don't need an awful lot of holding power. They just need something enough to hold them in place without flapping around in the wind. The MSR groundhogs weigh about 10 grams a piece and the titanium shepherd hooks weigh about 6.5 grams. So there is a weight savings between the two. I think there's 10 stakes inside the bag, which is all that I need plus one or two extras and that weighs 3.5 ounces. So the overall weight of the tarp and the bivy and the stakes is about 20.5 ounces. So pretty lightweight, I'm pretty happy with it. I could probably go a little bit lighter, but I still feel like this is plenty light enough for what I wanna do. So that's my shelter system for the summer's hiking trip. I won't be vlogging on that trip, but I do have a very special video project planned for the trip, so stay tuned for that. If you wanna follow along on the hike, I encourage you to check out my Instagram. It's just at Pie on the Trail. I'll be posting pictures regularly and kind of doing mini blogs over there as we go through the hike. Thanks for watching this video as always. May the force be with you and I'll see you in the next one.